Hi there, my name is Brian Collins uh, from the Comer Rider today and in this uh, video I'm going to explain to you uh, what the writing app of Scrivener is and how you can use it to manage complicated writing projects uh, and use it to manage uh, posts on your blog uh, and if you, at the end of this video I'll also explain about a giveaway that you can get that will help you use Scrivener to manage your blog. Uh, okay, so this is Scrivener. So there are three main areas in Scrivener. There's the binder on the left hand side of the screen the editor in the center of the screen and on the right hand side of the screen there's the inspector. So the binder is where you organize all the files that form up your writing project so this is where you keep all the blog posts. The editor is where you do all your writing and formatting uh, and the inspector is where you keep custom information about your posts such as notes and so on. So I'm going to start by going through the binder and um, so I've got several different folders that I've created such as archive, this month's post, future blog posts. Um, it's easy enough to create a folder. Uh, all you have to do is add a new folder, and you can call it whatever you want. Um, and if you don't want it, you can just delete it. Okay, so if I take you through the archive, uh, here I have um, four months or five months worth of archived blog posts from July to November. And if I open up each one of these, I can see the individual blog posts within each month. Uh, um, if I go into this month's posts and I open up December, I can see all the posts that I'm working on at the moment. Um, and again, it's easy enough to uh, open a new, create a new file within a folder. All you have to do is press enter, and then you can start writing. Um, so that's this month's posts. Um, next, I have future blog posts. And you can see the posts that I'm planning and writing for January. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to publish all these posts in December. But what will probably happen at some stage is I will drag files from December over to January. So this is a great way of organizing um, lots of different blog posts at once. Um, so the next folder I have then is blogging journal. So this is where I keep a short record of what I each week of what I did. Um, so for example, I'll show you an entry from December. It's dated December 7th, which is today's date. Excuse me. Let's see if you can. Um, and here I describe what I did this week. So I talk about some of the people I pitched to. I describe what lessons I learned. So I talk about using ScreenFlow to record this tutorial. Um, I explain what I should, could have done better. I explain what I wrote um, and how I marketed my content. Um, so asking questions like this um, helps me figure out what I need to do for the coming few days and if I'm working on the right things at the right time. Um, I also talk about website changes I make and what I should focus on this week. Um, so it takes me about 20 minutes to do this, but I find it's a really valuable exercise um, for working more productively. Um, so if I come out of the blogging journal folder, next I have a folder called book. So this is where I keep um, various chapters from the book I wrote last year or earlier this year. The reason why I keep them here is it's handy to reference them when I'm writing blog posts uh, and I don't want to interfere with the master um, file for my book. Um, and the fact that you can keep an entire book um, in a Scrivener project shows how powerful it is for managing complicated uh, writing projects. My next folder is called Guest Blogging and Interviews. So this is where I keep information about uh, um, other blogs that I've picked guest blog posts to. Um, and this helps me um, keep track of what's happening with each one of these posts because it can sometimes take up to three to four weeks before a guest blog post is actually published on a bigger blog. In marketing and social media, um, I keep uh, various details about marketing my blog. So in this particular file, it's called blog Blogging Personas. Uh, and I wrote three, 200 words about three different personas um, for my blog. And the reason why I did this is lots of pro bloggers like Darren Ross recommend uh, writing blogging personas if you want to keep on track. Um, so I have three personas I use. Natalie, who's a writer with no time. Jason, who's a writer in search of an audience. And Sarah, who's a creative and can't finish. And the reason why I do this is that uh, anytime I write a blog post, I try to think of these three personas and figure out if what I'm creating uh, could help them in any way. And I base these personas uh, on information um, that I've gotten from subscribers of my blog and um, from what I think people will be interested in. Um, so the next folder I created in Scrivener is called Course. Um, and in this, in, in this course section, I keep details of a course that I'm going to create at some stage. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this is because Scrivener is also a great tool for organizing your research. Um, so it's maybe something to think about. Uh, 
the next folder I have is called Affiliates. So this is where I keep details of my affiliate links. And the reason why I do this is so I can quickly drop them into a blog post. The next folder is called Video Scripts. So I made a brief outline of this video script, uh, although you might not think it, uh, in here. The next folder is called Ideas and Notes. And this is where I keep ideas and notes for my blog posts. Although more recently I've been using Evernote for this. But the reason why I'm showing you this is again to show that Scrivener is an all-purpose writing tool for all sorts of writing projects. And finally, the trash. When you want to delete or file a folder, it ends up here, and you can quickly restore it 